airport in order to protest against illegality. And meanwhile, the Guardians refuse and are supported by the state in refusing and are supported by the state in refusing point blank yeah, to even investigate the criminal activity going on in Shannon Airport. And as Paul has just said, put, uh, transporting kidnapped victims or personnel en route they're coming from a theater of illegal war is in itself a criminal act. The guardies stand around as this these criminal acts are perpetrated, stand around ready not to investigate and if necessary to arrest those who are perpetrating these criminal acts, but precisely to arrest those who protest against them. And this is symbolic of the way our country and our society is organized generally. Where we see people in Mountjoy jails, in the same jail as Margaret and Darcy, for failing to pay debts because they cannot, including debts to the state because of all the charges they have brought in. They are put in prison while the multi-millionaires and billionaires who have ripped off the country and brought it to ruin are like Alan Shatter, free to walk the streets, live in luxury and if necessary to cross the channel for a fake bankruptcy proceedings which left them off the hook altogether. In light of all this and standing by Margaret and Darcy, we are not only as we should defending her right to protest and defending her as a person of honour and a person with a fine record of service to the Irish people and to the cause of peace generally. We are not only doing that, but we are recognising that her imprisonment is symbol and substance of the general grotesque inequality, fairness in our society. So I'm maintaining the pressure for the release of Margaret Darcy and in supporting her in prison by sending her in messages and letting her know how much active support there is in the streets for her. We are in effect rededicating ourselves to the struggle generally for a decent, sane society in which peace is the priority, in which war is regarded as an ugliness and anathema. Those are very basic things which almost all the politicians in this country, including and especially, as Paul has just said, Labour Party politicians, a claim also to espouse. We are exposing their hypocrisy, even as we expose the nature of our society in calling for the freedom of Margaret and Darcy. So we must keep up the struggle, north and south and everywhere, and raise the call right across this land. Every time they dare to say they stand for peace, and incidentally, every time while having their lips sipped about Iraq and Afghanistan, they cry out of one eye about what is happening in Ukraine. Oh, this is terrible, they say. The violence on the streets of Kiev, but not a word about the violence in Afghanistan, the violence which is tearing Iraq apart even at the minute. Fight for a peaceful world. Fight for an Ireland which is committed to peace and anti-imperialism. Fight for the freedom of Margaret and Darcy. Thanks for your...